we'll start um, with a general introduction of you where you can first introduce yourself and um, you can give your name your nationality and occupation i am swaminathan actually my son has applied for the charles university uh, faculty of medicine the ganbury uh, i'm basically from india but uh, settled in dubai so 10 years i'm working here in dubai in hospital as a associate veterinarian great sir thank you so um uh, just to can you elaborate a little bit more sir as to uh, you know pragadeshan has got accepted into charles university uh, radhakrishna so why did you select that particular faculty like you have also applied to other faculties right so you can talk about first what all options you had applied to and why you shortlisted hk as an option specifically uh basically actually we have one of our family friend his daughter is studying in uh, Charles University first faculty of medicine uh she's uh, she uh, we inquired about Charles University and also the other Czech universities for the last uh, one year and uh, uh, most of the universities are too good there is no doubt in it but in that uh, we have a preference my son has a preference between first faculty and uh, hk faculty first faculty hk first faculty there was a small difficulty that the hostel and college everything is not in the within the closer compound this is one of the main reason we preferred hk because of the due to the pandemic and also the being the tourist destination prague i think uh, this this will be much more safer than the uh, first faculty correct sir i think that's a very nice point that you highlighted so uh, thank you uh, secondly sir i would want to know that you know in dubai there are a lot of education consultancies that offer medical programs or medical studies outside abroad so could i know what is that one thing you really liked about our agency that you made a decision that you'll go through us what was it that brought you to us and wanted you to register with us so initially uh, normally when we are searching for this type of uh, uh, See, especially for the higher studies or the medical college for the outside uh, when you look at your website how you elaborate the details are this is very important the more details you are seeing and more uh, what are the aspects you are looking for whether it is convincing the maximum points so in that i was very comfortable with your website number one number two the initial discussions with your uh, uh, staffs is, looks more or less like um, not like uh, something like a um, Uh, false uh, opinions so most of the things are frank facts okay this is what going to be and uh, if i ask something more that which we cannot decide they will say no it's up to the university so this type of frank facts will make the parents to be very comfortable instead of giving some false promise and the later on say something off, after crossing off the well when you say no it cannot be done then it is very difficult for us this is one of the reasons uh, we, 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 you know the where it's a boundary exactly between the university and your consultants so this is what we are i'm comfortable that's what the main reason i just did it thank you very much for that feedback sir we are very happy that you know um, everything was up to date and after what you were looking for and uh, thank you for choosing us um, also sir following your advice and tips i would like you to you know before because you've gone through this entire process you have seen pragatesh will prepare you have you know gone through the process of application shortlisting universities etc could you give us some more tips or give the future parents some more tips or suggestions that they could keep in their mind before they start the application processes to university uh actually uh, what we have to do is in case suppose if any of our friends are like school seniors who are in the particular university you can just ask them how uh, suppose if they have a choice of three universities to decide one is uh, when they are studying at the c plus 2 level it is difficult for them to decide on their own they cannot based on the city it is located they cannot decide they have to decide based upon for example if the student is interested in molecular biology and which university is better in the molecular biology so this this uh, research they have to do through some students who are already studying there uh, that will be very much valuable because it's going to be a live update because they can say that okay molecular biology this university is best whereas a clinical medicine this is the best surgery this is the best because every university has a specialty so in my son is concerned we are very much concerned with the gene therapy molecular biology that is the only reason we just came near czech republic and germany Because these are the Germany is the uh, country which has the maximum R&D in molecular biology in Germany. 
So we are just thinking about maybe doing the undergrad uh, MD course in Charles University. Maybe PhD, maybe either Charles or in Germany. This is what the idea. That's the reason we came. If you would have been deciding about the surgery, definitely we would have gone to Hungary. University of X is more uh, for, for better uh, surgery uh, research than the Charles University. This is what the feedback we heard about some of the students there. So it's better to check with some students who are already studying in the college instead of going with our own opinion. That's also very nice, sir. I mean, that's very rightly said that I think speaking with students who are already going through all this is always going to give a better idea before you get into the entire process and exhaust yourself. So that's a very nice tip, sir. Thank you very much. Um, last and final question, sir. Um, I just want you to summarize your overall journey with Gyan Berry. How have you liked it overall? And if you would like to highlight any single person or any person who has, you know, been very helpful to you or you would like to highlight an instant that has made you very happy, please feel free to tell us about it. Of course, uh, uh, actually Gyan Berry has given almost all the instructions. Of course, we had a small, small doubts. We uh, we called uh, the staffs time to time. The various people have started up. Among them, I think Nancy is the best because she has uh, understood exactly what level, where we are standing and asking these questions. So she came down from her level and explained to our level so that we can uh, able to understand quickly. That is number one. Number two is that uh, most of the uh, things, uh, whatever the details, time to time, what the email you are sending, just to be follow it up properly, read, go through the mail. Like, for example, uh, when the visa documents mail, you send it to me. I just went through the flow chart, the flow chart, the full details, all the eight pages. I just went through it properly. Then I started. There is a home country PCC has to be started yearly because that's the one is going to take time. So from that, I just started quickly. And also the visa document preparations, everything is perfect. I don't think anything else is required. Just follow that mail. You can just, well, the only thing is that you should not make it up. Okay, this I'll make it tomorrow, day after I land. Just as soon as I get the mail, just start acting on it. Then you will not have any. You will have enough time before uh, going for the college's admissions. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm going to definitely let Miss Nancy know that you have been. You know, you really liked how she was coordinating. Really yes. Of course, the superior uh, said everything, but our times lot of a lot of his truck with a lot of works. At times when we call some hard times, also she was not able to do that. But uh, she has done everything. But uh, Sometimes she is in the meeting and other things. When we called Nancy, she went to India, I think. I was not knowing. But in spite of that, she called from the mobile number and just told me the details. I am really impressed. That's very, very nice. So I'm sure she's also going to be very happy that she, you know, you are happy with whatever she's been doing for you. And, um, you know, this is what she, we, she or anyone else in the company wants that, you know, as long as you're getting everything that you need from a timely manner, there's, there's nothing more that we would want. So that's great, sir. Congratulations again to you and to Pragateshwaran. You know, you all have, he's cleared one of the most competitive entrance exams. And I wish him all the best for his future. And if there's anything, sir, in the future, if you would need us anytime, we would be available and we would be more than happy to help. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So one of the done it through the Ganbury, we are entering the Charles University because with the lead faculty, Otherwise, it's going to be a tough time. It's, it's not going to be easy because we are working in a, a different atmosphere. European uh, atmosphere is a little different. So uh, unless without the bridge like uh, Gyanbari, it's very, very difficult to cross into that. Thank you very much. So this means a lot for us. And this feedback itself is very, very good and very, very motivating for us to even, you know, keep performing the way we have been with the parents and get good results and happy parents like you. <laughs> So thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you very much for the time. And it was very nice connecting with you.